Please raise your voice. My hearing isn't what it used to be. Item number, SCP-4521. Object class, safe. Special Containment Procedures SCP-4521 is to be kept in Site-551's Bioterrarium and only accessible by personnel with Level 2 clearance or higher. Additionally, attempts are to be made daily in an attempt to provoke vocalizations from SCP-4521. Description SCP-4521 is a Douglas fir tree with abnormal shape and leaves. SCP-4521 was discovered within God's Silence, Oregon, after reports of an ear-piercing silence from within the tree's vicinity. Amnestics were administered, and SCP-4521 was transported by implanted Foundation agents to Site-551. Currently, SCP-4521's anomalous property is that it is incapable of screaming. No apparatuses are found on SCP-4521 that allow it to scream, and attempting to create one has been met with failure. See testing log. Attempts are being made to provoke screaming with an SCP-4521. No memetic or cognitohazardous phenomena originate from or affect SCP-4521. Multiple attempts using several other anomalies have been made to detect any screaming but no screaming was detected. Test Log The following are attempts made by on-site personnel to eliminate SCP-4521's anomalous ability. Test 1 Carve a mouth on SCP-4521 Outcome Several holes were placed upon SCP-4521 using a chainsaw. No screaming appears to emanate from these holes. Test 2 Use an extremely hot branding iron to imprint the word SLAVE onto the base of the tree. Outcome: No screaming detected. Brand disappeared within two days' time. Test 3. Place multiple species of spiders upon SCP-4521's base. Outcome: No screaming detected. Approximately 30% continued to stay on the tree. 50% of the spiders that stayed burrowed further into the tree. No screaming was detected during this time. Test 4. Take a tree that is genetically similar slash related to SCP-4521 and slowly destroy it in a close radius around it. Outcome. Tree successfully destroyed over the course of 28 hours. No screaming detected. Test 5. Take a tree that is genetically similar slash related to SCP-4521 and redacted. Outcome. Redacted by request of Ethics Committee. No screaming detected. Test 6. Use a D-Class personnel under the effects of Nestix in the event that SCP-4521's screaming is antimimetic. Outcome. No screaming detected. Test 7. Attempt to communicate with SCP-4521. Outcome. See attached audio file. Audio file. File 4521 interview. Begin log. Uh, hello, SCP-4521. Can you hear me? Did you say something? Oh, that was my imagination. I'm sorry. Listen. You want to talk? You have something on your mind? Just let it out. Come on, it's not healthy to bottle up. You can tell me I'm friendly. You don't have a reason to... You know... I do hope these thoughts in your head are doing you well, but they need to be let out. This is for your own good, I promise. Don't worry about making too much noise. I don't mind. Can you hear me? Can you even hear me while you're trapped in your mind? Can you see me through the foggy, muddy waters that are your eyes? Come on, 
the deafening silence is killing me. If you don't want to speak, or at least scream, the tests will continue. It's only healthy. But please! It's scaring me! You know, when I was a kid, I, I assaulted a kid. I took a bike lock and crushed his skull in. He went on for six minutes before being stopped by one of his friends, who I also clocked in the head. Went down the street, and I saw this lady. She fell off her bike. It was the same bike I stole the bike lock from. I took that bike, cut it up into several small, tingly pieces, and fed her the bike over the course of several hours. She just laid there with her broken leg and her stomach eventually ruptured. The black ooze that dripped from her stomach indicated that someone might have called the cops. So I went home and locked my room. Do you want to know what I did? I screamed! I opened my mouth and let out the largest roar that was trapped at the bottom of my lungs. All those wasted opportunities. All those memories fading away as the calming ring of my torn voice box filled the room. And look where I ended up. I got a doctorate, and I'm working for one of the best organizations on Earth. It's not too late. Or... You haven't felt that thrill yet, haven't you? Typical outcast like you, born in some random remote part of Siberia, no other individual in sight. You're too weak to impress anyone, so you just stay by yourself. I see your game. But I can help you! You need to scream! You need to scream! You need to scream! You need to scream! Dr. Hans proceeds to say the exact same phrase for 37 hours before being escorted out by on-site guards in order to prevent death by dehydration. After waking from a short four-hour nap, Dr. Hans promised that he will not stop until this tree finally screams. Testing is to continue. End log.